All righty. Thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Saturday night breaks. We're going to start off with World Cup Prism 2018. Case number 220, World Cup Prism 2018. I am Soccer Breakers FC. If you're interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Simply search Soccer Breakers FC. Uh, make sure you click that little button and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Make sure you click the thumbs up on YouTube if you're watching any of our videos. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, also, check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. I just posted two new uh, English Premier League prism breaks on the website. Just posted that today. I'm going to post uh, like two a day. For the next like week or so, I'm going to have like probably 20 cases of that up for the first weekend. It releases on a Friday. So that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all we're going to do pretty much is break EPL Prism for those first few days. Uh, at least for the first day we will. And then we'll sneak in some other stuff too. But it'll mostly be Prism, English Premier League. Uh, so good news about that is you can buy your teams in the store. Uh, you don't have to be on Facebook to do that. So uh, anyway, uh, that's how we're going to do it. Finally, follow us on Instagram, Soccer Breakers. All right, thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. All righty, before we get started, we got to do this random right here, which is uh, 16 spots, 16 winners, uh, 42 for 2 for 82. This was the world cup prism this is for the sergio ramos real madrid signed jersey as well so whoever lands in the last spot spot 16 will get the sergio ramos real madrid signed jersey i've got it right here let's say sergio ramos it's actually quite a nice jersey i took picture opened it up and took pictures of it uh, for the listing so here we go guys here we go let's do that random yeah hopefully we'll get busier tonight and we can uh, fill up some more breaks i want to do at least two select and hopefully uh one uh, black gold uh in addition to this world cup prism so i'm hoping to break four cases tonight hopefully we'll get at least uh three or four in for sure we're gonna do two because they're pretty much sold out uh all right colt Woodall on top edwin on the bottom we're gonna roll the dice we re-roll snake eyes otherwise we go with it seven times seven times after the random we're gonna cut and paste into that list right there file save as world cup prism number two two zero all right, so one spot we'll get France. Uh, last spot we'll get Sergio Ramos. Uh, all right, seven times. Seven times. We got Colt Woodall on top. Edwin Selgo on the bottom. Seven times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. We're going seven times. Five. That's five. We're going seven. Six. Seventh and final. Good luck. Seven. Jaime on top. Michael Espinoza on the bottom. Congrats, Michael. So here we go. And that was on seven times. Let's print this out Let's save it. All right, so Michael, you get the guaranteed winner there, which is the Sergio Ramos Real Madrid signed jersey. Congrats, Michael Espinoza. That is yours.
And that's Michael. That one's all you. I'm going to read off all the pins now also. Alright, here are your teams. France, congrats. Jaime, Colt, congrats. Germany, uh, Michael, Mihen, you got Uruguay. Nice. Lamb, you got Colombia. Heath, you got Denmark and the Netherlands. Brandon, Iceland. Tom, you got Costa Rica. Heath, you got USA, Panama. Title, you got Serbia, Austria. Tom, you got Nigeria. Edwin, you got Wales. Manny Marquez, you got Saudi Arabia. Mike Espinosa, you got Tunisia. Edwin, you got Iran, Tom, you got Italy, and Michael, you won the jersey. Sergio Ramos, Real Madrid signed jersey, goes to Mike Espinosa. Here are the teams that were purchased the old-fashioned way. Uh, Kareem, you got Argentina, Bollybeck, you got Portugal and Brazil, good luck. Uh, Aldo, you got England, Jaime Diaz, uh, Spain. Uh, other one was Jaime Vega. Yep, Jaime Diaz. You got uh, Spain. Oh, actually, Tom, you got the host cities. Oh. Let me just uh, do one thing here. Forgot about that. Keep track of that. All right, sorry about that, guys. Just keep notes for that. All right, so, uh, Tom, you got the host city uh, spot. Uh, Aldo, you got Belgium. There we go. Tom has host cities. Aldo, you got Belgium. Angie, you got Croatia. Jason, Poland. Manny, uh, Marquez, Egypt. Angie, Peru, Chile. Angie, Sweden, Norway. Christian, you got Japan. Manny, Marquez, Switzerland. William T, you got Australia. Manny, Marquez, Senegal. Uh, Oh, that's another one I couldn't find. Uh, Kidu, you got Korea. William, you got Russia. Chris, you got Morocco. Go with Kidu. Also, did it find your payment? Let me know, Kidu, if you sent already on that. Uh, oh, actually, I think I texted you already. I think you did send. Let me double check that. Soccer. Oh, that's not it. There it is. You did send. All right, got you, Kidu. You're good. <laughs> Did I ship the card of yesterday's break? No, I did not ship yesterday's break yet. I don't ship, uh, I ship once a week. So uh, anything I shipped on, um, what day was it this week that I shipped? I shipped on Thursday. So anything uh, that's broken on, and Wednesday didn't ship on Thursday. So anything from Wednesday through Sunday will break on, to, will ship on Tuesday.
All right, I'll check on the other one. Han Yun Tong. I don't. I'm trying to remember. What, where did you break with me, Han Yun? I don't know which break you're talking about, but anyway, yeah, I will be shipping on Tuesday. So, if you have cards with me, um, and you requested shipping, if you're USA. They should go out Tuesday. If they were international, then make sure you... Because that, that name just doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, it's a process, guys. When I break, you know, it takes about 24 to 48 hours for the breaks to be sorted. And then I typically ship one day a week. It alternates. Usually it's Tuesdays, um, not always. Uh, like this last week, it was Thursday because I was on vacation the week before. But generally, it's on Tuesday. So this coming Tuesday, I will be shipping. Hey, Paul, what's up? Uh, yeah, Nick, I'm going to be posting more. I'm, posting I'm going to be posting like 20, 30 cases of that stuff in the first uh, three or four days. So we're going to be breaking a lot of that. Uh, so if you didn't get your teams that you like, don't worry. Uh, I'll be posting a lot more. I'm getting like 50 cases or 40 something cases of it. I don't know about 220 for that, but we'll uh, we'll see. You never know. It's probably, I mean, in a year, probably not. But I'm hoping we'll reach 100. We reached uh, 130 something on Immaculate, and on Immaculate we could have easily reached 200, but we just ran out of cases. Oh, it rose a lot. My cost went up by about $600, $700 a case. So it, it rose quite a bit. Looks like not even close. Yeah, my cost went up about $700, a little bit over $700 currently, actually. Our case price, I raised them by about $500, so. Maybe four, four fifty, five hundred. That's why right now the margins on Immaculate are really bad. I uh, can't really afford to break it anymore because I... After shipping and expenses and all that, I barely make a little bit break even on it it's just too expensive right now it used to be really good but now it's just impossible to find and it's super expensive
Yeah, I mean, anytime you pre-order, you're taking a risk because if the product sucks, uh, you're going to be in trouble. All right. But by the same token, if it's good, uh, you know, you'll do well. But I know with Prism, there have been a lot of times when, not initially, but like after a couple months, prices uh, could drop on it. It just depends on how much the interest is. Soccer Beckett? What do you mean, Soccer Beckett? Beckett's a company that grades cards and Oh, a price guide? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Beckett does have a soccer uh, price guide. If you, it's all electronic now, so yes, you, they do price uh, soccer cards too. I don't even join it because I don't think it's very reliable or good. You can just check eBay. Much more accurate than anything Beckett has. I remember that whole Beckett thing was pre-internet. Um, when it was really valuable. Now all you gotta do is just go check eBay and you'll see what a card's selling for. Yeah, they do have it. Yeah, they do. Because I know they're always asking me for money, but I don't join. I, I used to have it at one point, but honestly, it was pretty useless. I gave it up. But yeah, they, they do price soccer just like all the other sports. Uh, you know, obviously, it's very small compared to baseball and basketball. Plus, it only goes back like four years. You know, with like the baseball price guide, it goes back, you know, 60, 70 years uh, with soccer pretty much I don't think they do Futera they do like Tops and, and Panini and uh, you know they have like an online package where you can just buy one sport or you can buy like everything it's pretty pricey actually I want to say it's like 20 bucks a month or something to use their darn guides and to me that's like a big waste of money. I guess if you're like in a business that's different but actually I think it's even higher than that because I think it was like 10 15 dollars per sport and then if you wanted like all sports it was like 30 bucks a month or something like that yeah exactly beckett you want to look at 1952 like mantle or something like that you want to go back and you know check orders
plug that back in. Are you guys excited about Prism EPL? I'm getting pretty excited about it myself. That's the first EPL product I've really been uh, excited about in a long time. Yeah, someone asked me if I'm more excited about EPL Prism or Gold Standard, and I think definitely EPL Prism. Yeah, I'm excited about Chelsea too. So Chelsea's pretty pretty solid. Yeah, it has a lot of like chase uh little uh, things too that I think will sell well kind of like the host city thing but then they have like the team logo cards they have the color burst uh, some of them are like one in every like five or six cases so they're like super rare yeah the check and gold standards actually gonna be the last product I, uh, at least that's what I think. The, the last product that's going to have both Ronaldo and Ronaldinho in it, like the Brazil ones. Not Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo will be in all the products, but from what I've been told, the contract with those two guys uh, is, is ended after that product. So, now, of course, I'm sure they're going to try to re-sign them, but it doesn't sound like it's happening like immediately. So they'll probably be... Uh, a gap where we're not going to see any more Ronaldinho or Ronaldo Brazil cards, at least autograph cards. Uh, ben, uh, who knows? Uh, you know, we'll, we always try to figure it out, but uh, they've gotten better about it. 2014, it was really easy to tell by the serial number on the outside of the box. Now, usually, if you study it, you can tell by the serial number on the inside of the box. So you can tell, like, once you open. Like, right now, I was checking on these, but on 18, it's it's much harder. Um, so I'm sure it'll be difficult. But having said that, I mean, once you open a box, and we'll kind of get a feel for it once we open, you know, 5, 10 cases as to uh, what cards are the case hits. Again, Panini has not announced a specific case hit, so they don't have a case hit guarantee. But typically, Panini has a method which they use to pack the products and to pack out the cases. And typically, that method does utilize like certain players. Will, there will be one box that will be kind of like the case hit box, so to speak. Now, that will be from a list of, you know, usually 10 players or so will be on that list and usually like for example for prism i'm sure it'll be like ronaldo maybe like cantona bird camp you know like some of the 
figure vets uh, will be case hits. They've been much more careful about uh, the way they package it so that it's not so obvious. After uh, World Cup Prism 14. I'll be posting uh, two more um, EPL breaks probably maybe later tonight, late, late, so it'll already be daytime in Europe because the last first two I posted was not a good time for Europe. So I'll make sure I post these next two at a Euro-friendly time. Yes, clearly don't. Hello? Hey, what's up, Chris? Yeah, what are you doing? Alright, I'm breaking. I will. Okay, bye. Sure. Sorry, guys. Of course, what does my daughter need? Money. Uh, can you please put some money in my account? Sure. You think I have an ATM machine here? Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. I gotta do this. Just trying to. Uh. Yeah, generally the guys that I PC are uh, the one team that I collect. I, I'm a Chelsea fan. Uh, also, as far as guys I really PC, Baggio is one of them. Uh, I like Baggio, I like Maldini, uh, I like Baresi. Uh, who else do I? Collect. Drogba and Lampard, I, I collect a lot. No, they're part of the base lot, Swiggy. They're part of the base. As long as they're regular base 1 through 300, they are going to be part of the base lot. So if you buy uh, the base lot, you will get all rookie cards uh you know i mean they're base cards but the ones that say rc on them i think there's like 35 40 cards that are uh have the rc designation that will be part of the base lot so you're getting all cards i may change that now if it turns out that they're not like a dime you know a million of each but Yeah, 72. That's what I thought. I knew there was a lot of them. Uh, so that's literally like, I think, 25% uh, of the base set. Because the base set is 300 cards. And 72 of them are rookies. So if you're buying the base lot at 39 bucks, you're getting probably a couple hundred rookie cards. Uh, Swiggy, they're on, if they haven't been bought on the website, yes, but let me, I'll have to double check that.
Yep. Swiggy. You got him in the first one. Let me see if I can give him to you in the second one. Yep, you got him in the second one. All right, send uh, 78, Swiggy. You got the base cards for both cases, first two cases. That includes shipping. Shipping alone is like 13 bucks. Uh, Everton uh, is 55. And here, guys, I'm going to drop the link so you guys can go buy your teams there. There's your link. Uh, you guys can go grab your teams. Everton is 55. Yeah, I know, the, the Zhao Felix, uh, that was part of the reason why everybody was buying the base blocks in that product. Yeah, the thing is, like, for some teams, I factor that into the price. I mean, I would have to, like, raise the price on Benfica, for example, but it just saves me a lot of time. Because if I'd have to, uh, I mean, instead of, you know... I could work the 39 bucks into the teams, I guess, but it'll just be a lot more time consuming. This way, if you want base cards, you can still buy the base slot. You buy one base slot, you're going to get a whole case worth of base cards. Oh, no problem. No worries. Uh, yeah, the base lot is $39. $39. Uh, the first two just got sold to uh, Swiggy, so they're not available. But I will be posting uh, two more uh, probably in about three, four hours from now. So if anybody is going to try to grab them then. Yeah, they're $39. That includes shipping to the U.S. It does not include international shipping. Yeah, and international shipping, honestly, for one lot, it's not worth it. If you're going to do international shipping, you're better off buying like three lots because the price for shipping one lot is the same as the price for shipping three lots because it's going to require a medium box. And I can probably, I don't know if I can fit three. I can at least fit two in a medium box. I don't know if I can fit three in a medium. I might need a large box for three. But it would be a lot more cost effective if you bought multiple uh, cases if you're going to do uh, international shipping. Yes, everything, anything inserts, silver rookies, anything other than just base cards. All inserts, all numbered cards, uh, just like we do with this. Same exact deal as we do with, with this product. Uh, once we start showing cards, I can show you what I mean. Yeah, Tottenham was 129. The expensive ones, I can tell you. Manchester United was 329. They're the most expensive by far. Uh, Liverpool was 289. Uh, Arsenal is 199. 
Chelsea 139, uh, Tottenham 129. Then I think uh, Newcastle is 89, Manchester City's 89. Uh, I'm going to say like West Ham is maybe 69, Wolves are 65, something like that. Anyway, and then I think Leicester and uh, Everton are 55. Um, what else? And there's a bunch of $15. $15 are the cheap teams are 15 bucks. There are five teams that I believe do not have autographs. They're all 15. That includes uh, Norwich, uh, Southampton. Um, Forget who the other ones are. Yeah, and that seems to be one of the most popular ones. We we're talking about that, uh, pricing that with uh, Austin. Yeah, we, we priced them the same, I think. My prices and Austin's are identical. Anyway, I can, I'm going to post more because obviously it really helps me out that they're on the website because I can uh, afford to order more since, you know, I get payment quicker through the website and I can uh, get more cases for you guys this way. Yeah, and I thought I priced them pretty decent. I don't know. I mean, I think Man City and I think Newcastle are the same price. Um, 89. I mean, by, of the big teams, they're by far the cheapest. Uh, the big six. Because after that, uh, Tottenham's 129, Chelsea's 139. But, yeah, Man City uh, doesn't have big uh, support um, when it comes to card collectors. It has a couple guys. I think Dan Norton buys them pretty regularly. I'm not sure if he'll be going in heavy on Prism or not. Uh, a couple others. But yeah, they're not like the Liverpool or Arsenal fans that go crazy. Man U too. I'm surprised Chelsea hasn't sold. Chelsea doesn't sell. I'll gladly take them myself. But. Well, Newcastle, yeah, and this product, I think Newcastle is tied with Man City for the sixth spot. Oh, you grabbed them, Swiggy? Okay, cool. Oh, so you can grab, yeah, I was going to say you can, you can uh, grab them in the store. I, I took the, uh, the thing out for you, um, the base ones out myself so oh yeah you sent direct on those okay cool thanks yeah hey, i see it thanks buddy you got norwich and chelsea in both Good job thank you uh thank you sweetie yep i got it thank you yeah, if any of you are interested in EPL Prism, just keep an eye out on the store, guys, because I'll be posting. Uh, I plan to do at least 20, 25 cases the first three or four days. Uh, that's the plan now. Depends on how we do, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do eight to ten cases. Well, Prism takes a little longer, so we'll probably do eight, nine, ten cases day one, and then I'll try to do at least six, seven cases a day for the first few days as long as they're filling. 
Uh, obviously, that's subject to filling, but I get a feeling that uh, it's going to do very well. All right, here we go, guys. We're ready to rock. All 12 boxes are ready to go. Here we go. So exactly with uh, EPL Prism, we're going to do the same exact way as we do this one. So like all inserts like that ship. And that one's a Prism, so that ships. Just the regular base doesn't ship. Everything else ships. These all shit. How about a little crack dice, David De Gea? Oh, no problem, Nick. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. That's the idea with the base slot. I mean, if you really are into base cards, you know, just buy the base slot and you'll get every single base card in the case. And it's better for those that want to make sets. They could probably just buy one lot. I'm sure you'll probably be able to make a set out of it. Well, I'm not sure. It's 300 cards, so maybe not, but probably. One sixty six of one ninety nine Miralas. Yeah, I was going to say those color blasts are super rare. I, I knew it was like one in every five or six cases, one in every eight, huh? Yep, those will be super rare. Ooh, my boy, Ashkan Dejaga, Iran. We got Iran. Iran went to Edwin Salguero. Bell Honda, 122 of We've got Hasawi, 42 of 125. Let's see what other products they use. Uh, yeah, I do know they are going to do a high-end Premier League. I'm not. They haven't decided what it's going to be yet. Um, 
but the rumor is uh, either possibly could be noir, but I think there's a good chance it's going to be one of the new ones that they haven't done before. I'm trying to think what are what are some of the high-end Panini uh, products for football and basketball? I know there's one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, is it Definitive, maybe? Is Definitive? Uh, is it Definitive? Is that a high-end one? can't remember the name of it. No, Tops is definitive. Yeah, no, it's uh, 89 of 125. Pishak. Uh, give me some names of Panini high end stuff. Uh, not flawless, obviously, not immaculate. Connections. Cahill. Not NT. No, not NT. 47 of 99. Not Opulus, no. Not Opulence either. I can't believe I can't think of the name of that darn product. Is that it? No, that's flawless. Impeccable. Yeah, that's it. Impeccable. Impeccable. That's the one I was looking for. Thanks, Mario. Impeccable. I'm pretty sure it's not a hundred percent, but it's going to be, um, I think it was either going to be noir or impeccable. 106 of 199 Ivanovich. I personally prefer impeccable. I'd like to see impeccable. It'd be cool to see something new. It's, but you know, again, it's not guaranteed. It's not announced yet, and it's not decided yet. But I think we'll find out in the next uh, couple month or two if what it's going to be. But I would think EPL impeccable would be sick, especially with the uh, you know load up on the uh, on the vets. It's, it's a beautiful product. I like the look of it better than noir. Noir is a little too dark for my taste. I mean, I like noir, but it's just very dark. Exactly. Yeah, and they have the silver bars. The, that's the one. Impeccable. I think they might have, I don't know if they have gold bars too, but they have uh, silver bars. Yeah, I think they can do some nice logo patches and impeccable too. How about Hajsefi Cyrillic base? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of Impeccable? I, I like it. Because I... they were kind of asking for uh, input at the, you know, on like which one they should do. And 
I went, I mean, I think it was either Noir, Impeccable, and I preferred Impeccable. Subasic, 37 of 199. They should do Donra Series 2 instead. You think Impeccable is too expensive, Tommy? Well, I mean, they wanted to do high end, so I don't know if it's any more. I mean, it's either Noir or Impeccable or... I mean, I would have liked to have seen Immaculate, but they didn't want to do Immaculate EPL. So I thought Immaculate EPL would have been really nice. Well, Icardi, three of 20. Yeah, but they're, that's what I, you know, I thought Immaculate would have been really good, but they don't want to do Immaculate again since they just did it. Gweye, 44 of 99. I wish they would do Immaculate every year. I mean, personally, they do Immaculate in other sports once a year, so I don't see why they just couldn't do, like, Immaculate Soccer every year. That would be my, uh, if there was one product that I could pick that they do every year, it would be... Immaculate. I mean, obviously, flawless, that's great, and you know, but I definitely am at, prefer Immaculate to NT for, for soccer. What was the, be the Beckett controversy? There was a controversy, or what? The grading or Thomas Mueller. Oh, really? Trimmed cards? Jeez. Impeccable. Opulence. I don't know about opulence. That's another one. Is opulence... Uh, I'm not familiar with opulence. Is opulence more expensive than impeccable? I honestly don't know why NT did so bad. You know, I mean, NT just kind of sucked, you know, for soccer. Nobody, I, I can get NT soccer still. Nobody wants it. It's uh, at the price it's at. I guess the checklist for Immaculate was so much better. I mean, the stickers are what turned people off to NT, but I mean, Immaculate has a lot more stickers than NT. NT was at least like, Half on card, half sticker. Immaculate's like 90% sticker. One book per case, you mean, not per box. Right? Shaka, two of 199. Oh, yeah, I love Immaculate. I mean, the Immaculate doesn't really have a downfall because it's doing so well. It's crazy. I mean, Immaculate saw... I wish I knew what I... You know, I would have bought 200 cases if I knew what I knew now. 
but that's why I didn't order. I mean, I didn't order that many because it scared me when I saw it and it was like all sticker. And I was just thinking it's going to be another NT, but it was uh, not NT. 133 of 149. Yeah, oh no, I love Immaculate. And honestly, the resale on Immaculate is just crazy. I mean, a lot of the Immaculate sticker autos sell better than the Eminence, you know, on card. And I was looking at like Ronaldinho, like the nice patch autos are selling for like 1500 two grand. And they're stickers, you know. And Baggio, like his sticker, you know, like the, the ones to 10, the moments and the... And the national uh, or the historic significance and the champions. And, of course, the, uh, what's the other, the big one? 16 of 40. Yeah, I mean, they sell so much better than... Because, I mean, I was buying Baggio Eminence cards, like, numbered to 10 and numbered to 5 for anywhere from 300, 350 to 400, 450, five, you know. And now you can't get that in Immaculate. Numbered to 10 Baggio, forget it. It's over 500 bucks. Yeah, I don't know long term if that will hold, Tommy, but right now it is. Absolutely, yeah, right now it is for the most part. But I would say, because if I had to hold, like, you know, one or the other long term, I'd rather have an Eminence on card than an Immaculate sticker. I mean, I guess it depends on if it's a sick patch auto, that's different. But um, I don't know. Long term, I, I like him. I, that's just personal preference. I could be wrong. could be that Immaculate long term. holds its value better. Although I've noticed there's been a price bump with Eminence. Prices have gone up uh, a decent amount over the last uh, three, four months with uh, with Eminence. You used to be able to get a lot of Eminence cards for like 80, 90, 100 bucks. You can't do that anymore. You can hardly get any. I mean, the worst Eminence cards still sell for like 90 100 and you know cards that were get selling for like 90 95 bucks are now going for like 150 175 uh and cards that you could get for 300 are now going for 500 yeah like i was picking up baggios for like 300 bucks you can't get baggios for 300 bucks anymore Bolanos, 142 of 149. Yeah, that's the thing. The The multi-autos are so nice. I, I do really love the Eminence books, though. I got to say, those are like my favorite. My favorite card are the Italian Baggio, uh, Baggio Rossi book. Robert Yarny. And I love the eight-way books too. But yeah, some of the immaculate like names are just insane. Colt, did I see your PM? No, let me double check it. Yeah, always PM me. Email is a real tough uh, cookie for me. Colt. Ooh, uh, 
Colt, I'll have to double check because your stuff shipped out. Um, you should have got an email uh, from PayPal with uh, with shipping. Colt, you should have an email from PayPal. I go by, usually I pick the most recent, uh, my shipper picks the most recent PayPal payment and ships it to that address. Uh, I shipped on Thursday. So you should have got an email from PayPal that had a tracking with it. Vela. All right, do me a favor, and uh, if anything you've sent, uh, unless you're going to buy something else, just send me a penny with the correct address. Uh, just send me a penny as goods with the correct address on it, so that'll be like the most, because basically my shipper ships to the most recent payment. That's what she's been instructed to do, so... Especially if she sees one cent payments, I always tell her to ship to that. Because when I get a one cent payment, that means it's basically for shipping. 46 of 199. But as long as you've bought something, like your most recent payment has the correct address, should should be fine. Yeah, that goes for any of you. If you ever like have an issue with PayPal and your address, uh, make sure you send me a payment as goods for one cent. That's all it takes, one cent, one penny. Uh, and make sure you choose goods. And then that way, whenever I see those one cent payments, I know that, okay, they want me to ship to that address because it's, you know, I don't sell anything for one cent, so. Grizz leaving? Oh, good night, Swiggy. Sorry, I didn't see you uh, leaving. Good night, Grizzy. Thanks again, man. How about a little Aussie, Aussie, Aussie? Oi, oi, oi. Matt Lecky. I don't know what it is. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong about EPL because I just bumped my order on it. I am pretty excited about it. Also, just because there's really nothing out right now. 56 of 149, Marquinhos. Like, you know, Immaculate is pretty much over. Eminence is pretty much over. Uh, I mean, we're breaking a lot of 2016 because they forced me to buy all that 16 product so and that's why we're doing like the jersey promos and all that stuff to to help me move that um but with epl prism that'll be nice uh to get something new Six of one ninety nine Nagatomo.
six down. So. Uh, Boris, tonight we're going to bust that. Um, we're going to also try to bust black gold. I think uh, I think there was a filler. I think it's sold out. Let me double check, make sure that filler is full already. Yeah, that one is full. So select 153 will break after this. It's sold out. Select 154 will break after that. So if you want to buy in, that's your best bet. Or uh, the black gold case that I have. I'm going to post that one up on the screen too. Uh, we have one black gold that I'm going to try to fill for tonight. But for sure, we're going to do... Uh, to uh, select, I'm for sure, again, assuming we can fill it, of course, but I'm going to at least try to fill it. Malul to 199. Iceland, did I screw up on the pricing? Brandon, in which product? Oh, on uh, World Cup Prism? I mean, they're not really high priced. It's compared to, uh, it's just an expensive product. So I think the cheapest team is like 24 bucks. And Iceland has autos and actually Iceland has multi-autos too. So Iceland's actually pretty cheap compared to the other teams. Yeah, they have like dual autos too. Yeah, and actually 40 bucks for this product is, is not a lot. Uh, for other products it is, but 105 of 125. This is just a lot more expensive. I mean, the case price on this is like more than double like some of the other products we break. Rui Patricio, 12 of 125. <laughs> Joel Campbell, 51 of 65. Lewandowski, 14 of 40.
That's a nice Lewandowski for Poland to 40. Freddie Lundberg for Sweden. Did I lose you guys again? Here we go again. Come on. Sorry guys, I lost picture here. Alright, are we back? Sorry guys, it's again, the taping will be continuous. This, uh, I don't know what the hell's going on with YouTube lately. It's been doing that a lot just kind of goes like has like seizures or something it starts black like popping in and out it's kind of crazy uh, go down to 65 yeah we're back sorry about that guys I, I honestly have no idea what the problem is that's been going on for the last few days I think after this I have just the one other case of this so I think after these two cases I'm done with World Cup Prism uh, 67 of 145 he chan I'll see it's been kind of hard to fill this um, without having to discount quite a bit Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Get in trouble for that. You sleeping on the couch tonight? So I'll do this. Do it. Monster. I think I might have picked the case hit properly. I thought that 409 box was the case hit. I put it there, but we'll see. Nice one there. KDB. 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 Oh, KDB. Speaking words of wisdom. KDB, there you go, Aldo, that's Aldo right there, KDB.
Kevin Debrona. Oh, you're welcome, man. Congrats. Let's hope something sick comes out. So far, it's been a pretty uh, crappy case. We need uh, some big color or something to 199 Perez. Usually, these uh, dirty cases are quite good. This one has not been good yet. Ah, oh, come on. Again? Jeez, had another panic attack. Sorry guys, I don't know what the heck's going on with it. KDB Auto was the only thing we had so far in this box. Yeah, KDB Singing crashed it, I think. That's what did it. We've got Barcenas to 149. Three boxes left. Nice, Mohamed Salah, 10 of 99, jersey number, wow, boom, it's a boom right there, 10 of 99, jersey number, for Mo Salah, congrats Egypt, that's got to be worth a few bucks, he's got Egypt, Manny Marquez, There's an upside down card that's intriguing me. To 199, Koshelny. I'm intrigued by that upside down card. Alright, here's our upside down card. Let's put it there. We'll get back to it in a second. Alright, good luck, good luck. Here we go, upside down card. All 
All right, there we go. Good luck. Wow, well, nice one. Mexico, dual autograph, Chucky and Chicha. He's got Mexico. Manny Manny, that's Manny Gonzalez. Congrats, Manny Manny. Case hit, so we still got our case hit coming too. something that I forgot to mark off. Alright, I think we're good. Wales. So good. All right, grab your teams in that, guys. That's going to be after uh, 153. We're going to do 154. Two more left here. Good luck. Let's see how many autos? One, two, three, four, five six autos so that means we should have one auto left the case hit so that means this one's probably not going to be an auto 69 of 149 gudmanson Egyptian king, that's right. Matluthi, another Cyrillic base. gold or something sick or a black we'll take either come on one time power gold or black let's do it Boo, boo, boo. We got the camo instead. Lukaku. Romelo Lukaku. Come on. One time. We want a sick case hit. We're due for a Messi. We've only hit two Messies in 220 cases. So one Messi per 110 cases we've hit. 
Rui Patricio, 103 of 199. We had a lot of uh, Maradona, Batistuta, and a ton of Dybala, but very few Messi's. We had more triple quad uh, Argentinians than Messi. All right, here we go with our case hit box. Saved it for the end. Good luck, good luck. Come on, one time be something nasty. Save that. Let's go here first. How about Giroux? 11 of They both have new themes. Chicha and Chu. Who does Chuki play for now? He's not in the Dutch anymore. Dutch league. Eredivisie. I'm bummed. That Persian guy that was like the leading scorer, Jahan Bash, he was the leading scorer in the Eredivisie in the Dutch league. And then he went to Brighton and he sucked. He can't even get on the field. What's going on with that guy? They had him amongst the five worst signings of the year. Because they paid like the most that Brighton has ever paid, like 20 million pounds or something for him. And it was a huge bust. Shugi went to Sevilla, nice. 16 of 65, he chunk. trying to think I like the color I don't think uh, I don't think that uh, I don't think England uh, what's his face uh, Wayne Rooney is not a Wayne Rooney is not a case hit so I'm getting uh, cautiously optimistic about this card right here case hit that's red is there anyone other than Ronaldo that's red Come on, one time. Ronaldo me. Boom! Shaka laka laka laka. No! Golasso para Balibek. There you go, Balibek. Perfectly on sticker, too. I think, yeah, I mean, once I saw the red, I'm pretty sure it was going to be Ronaldo. Ollie Beck just got Ronaldo'd. There you go, a Bolly Beck. Congrats, buddy. Grab some big teams. Got a big hit.
Uh, they're rare, but nothing compared to the Messi. The Messi is super rare. Uh, like I said, Argentina, there's a ton of other stuff you can hit. Uh, Maradona, Batistuta, doubles, triples, quads. Uh, but this one, I, I mean, I, I'm guessing like out of 200, we probably hit him maybe, I don't know, maybe 15 times, maybe one out of every like 10, 12, 15 cases, some one out of every 10 to 15 cases, you're going to hit a Ronaldo. Um, whereas with Messi, it's like one out of every 100 cases. Yeah, that's about right. One in 10, 12, something like that. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, to 99, Cahill, Gouillet. To 65, Godin. Campbell and Hechan to 40, Jedinak or Jedinak and Lewandowski and Witzel and Otamendi uh, to 25, De Gea to 20, Icardi. Also to 20, we've got uh, Lukaku. Wasn't a very good case for color cards, but we did have nice autos. Um, a Tweety Bird, Cyrillic Base, uh, that is Haj Safi. Uh, who is that? Matluthi, not Matweedy. Matluthi and uh, Haj Safi. Matluthi was Tunisia. Haj Safi is Iran. Then we got Yarni for Croatia Auto, uh, Lundberg, Sweden. We got Iran. Uh, Landmarks card, Dejaga, uh, Mueller Auto, Lecky Auto. We got this one, 10 of 99, jersey number for Egypt and Salah. And then we got KDB for Belgium. And our big hits, we got a duel. Chuki and Chicharito Auto for Mexico. That is, I forgot the number on that. 30 of 50. And then we've got a Ronaldo Auto. That one is not numbered. All right, thank you, Randy. Appreciate it. Chile and Ireland. I'll take those off. Sick hit for Bollybeck. Congrats, Bollybeck. Let me end the recording.